There we go. Whew. That was fun. I had no idea how that was going to be. It's the first time I've used this computer for for this. Really? Yeah, I have so many computers. It's ridiculous. So can you change your virtual background? Uh, not like what you're doing. I'd have to figure all that out, and I don't um, have no idea how that works. If you look down at your stop, where it says stop video, click it, and it uh -huh. says choose virtual background. Uh huh. If you choose a virtual background, you can actually choose something to go behind you. If you how about that? There you go. Does it look good though, or am I kind of weird looking? Well, you're always weird looking, so I don't know. <laughs> I'm weird. Yeah. No, it doesn't really come in right. So I, I would have to help you with your weirdness. You know? Yeah, that's funny. Okay. So there's no, so I would have to figure that I'll figure that out some other time for now. It's not really coming through, not compared to like yours, which looks so cool. Let's try something different though. Let's see if I get rid of that. Oh, okay. Uh, if you, if you put like, I have a green screen, right? Yeah. So if, you, if you put a green screen behind you, then that, Obviously oh, that's you. how it works. Yeah, I don't have one of those. I just have my, just in my third bedroom here. That's it. Okay. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm pretty good. All right. Um, where where are you taking us today, or well, where do you want us to take us today, or how would you like to go? One thing. I was thinking about was I guess looking at the the using the time to connect about this last CL foundation because I think that that's the focus point right that we have right now. Yes, that's a big and thing. Yeah, I worked on the weekend on a website to, uh -huh. to start to build the container for the shared knowledge community. Okay. So I've I've been working on that and I want to share that with you to see what you think. Okay, good. And then, and then to bring you in as an editor and to go from there. Sounds exciting. I love you it. Do that. Yeah. Did you ever see the stuff I emailed you? You never got back to me. I, I I got the feeling that maybe you weren't that crazy about it. So. Okay. What stuff was that? Let me let me find it and uh, shit. I don't know if it's on this computer or not. Though. Yeah, I'm all give excited me a, by stuff from you. Yeah. Give me a second. I'm 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 in my uh, files right now, so I, I can't see you. I just got to see if I put it somewhere, or if I um, or what I did with it. Is it in the Elijah archive? No, that's all Elijah stuff. Um, hey, w what were your thoughts on what happened at the Synergy Mastermind? Um, I thought I had fun with it. What do you think? I mean, and then I've also done like two people since then, kind of took them to their gene keys. So I, I um, thought it was amazing. I mean, I, I have, when I saw the gene keys, I said that this has to be the background foundation for our transformation. And we went through it all as a group. I mean, to me, it was, it, it was. Yes, I in I, the background. Huh? What? It's, well, I just have a blender going off. Um, oh, okay. But it, it's just the genius of, you know, his work and your work, and mm -hmm. you know, I think it's a historical occasion. I think it's it's, it's mm -hmm. so highly signif significant mm -hmm. that we come together and we're using the gene keys in a correct context. Yep. To look at our shadow to look mm -hmm. at our gifts, to look at our cities as a team. I mean, could it get any better? I, I don't think it could. Let, give me one second. I got to stand up, go into this closet and pull out a memory stick because that's where I got what I want to show you. Okay. So give me one sec. Exciting times. Yeah, it is. And right now, I don't know why. Oh, I guess it's installing. The... So who, who did you do the Gene Keys with? I uh, did it with um, Olga and with uh, Tim, Olga and Tim, nice. on, two di on two different occasions. And nice. o Olga's kind of new to kind of the whole spiritual thing and everything. So, but something really shifted in her recently. So she's really ready to go into that. And Tim's pretty, pretty wise young fellow um, already. Mm. And so... Um, <clears throat> It was it was just it was fascinating. They but I loved uh, to share in it with both of them, and um, 
course, they're both out of work and broke, so I just gave it to them because what else am I going to do? And I want them well, to have you're it. You're giving them a priceless gift. I mean, you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're like this yeah. is the, this is history in the making, right? I mean, believe me, there there are going to be hundreds of thousands, if not millions, coming towards you, going, "Please do my G key, please." Yeah. Uh, uh, for sure, for sure. That 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 would be uh, that would be ideal. So I'm gonna. I think I. That have is to going to happen. That is not. A, that is not a maybe. Yeah, you got to enable me to screen share, which is going to turn me into the host. But then, as soon as I'm done screen sharing, you can take it back. But you got to enable it, okay. or I can't, or I can't screen share. Okay, I will enable you. Is that a nice thing to do? Is actually do something useful for somebody? <laughs> yeah, that's it's always nice. Yeah, when that can happen. What did I do with the other one, Jesus? Hey, I enabled you. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let me screen share the first thing um, that I started to do with that diagram of mine. Remember this diagram? Right. Well, I took your stuff and then started to put it in there because I realized some of what you have matches actual Enneagram in the world stuff like Mediator is 0.9 on the Enneagram, by the way. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I just laid it all in in that way. Oh, and my God. And, and so I put it all in because you are in an Enneagram. You have nine points and then three. And so, yeah. and I, and the way the Enneagram works, I got youth is out here. That's, and then elders are coming in here. This is the, this is the highest vibration right here. And then it stacks <clears throat> through all these stages down into earth and you get into earth and facilitation. So it literally spirals around starting from originator, of course, is me. And that's working with the angelic tables, which I do. And then uh, you go, and that's also the monadic body because they have all these other correspondences plus um, essential qualities like brilliance um, because that's what the angels are all about. They're about brilliance, which is the essence of intelligence. I'm going to take a drink of water. So anyway, and then I, and then I had entre entrepreneurs, which I believe you have is Steve. And that for me and the system I do and the inner work I do, it's about merging with the truth. And it's also the Merkaba vehicle, which kind of got cut off here. But uh, so that's the next step down is the three, the uh, multi-dimensional sacred geometry of our um, light body, which has so many different geometric forms in it. Um, and then we step into, then we got coaches and teachers, which is also another correspondence with the Enneagram. Coaches are traditionally, because they're performers, it's all about performance. So that's connected with this one, funny enough. And um, so that, that has to do with the diamond work, um, which is, it's I don't know, it's just fun to play with these. To, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I got tech gurus here. The next point down, it came corresponding with the gene keys. And I don't know why about that yet, but I'm sure we'll discover it. Human design is artists. Uh, healers is Reiki, which is a no-brainer. Wait wait wait, 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 wait. Let's back up to tech gurus and just look at, like, the gene keys is a technology, right? Yeah, it's a spiritual technology. So it's your tech guru, like with the Oh, wait a minute, keys. wait a minute. And the whole thing about tech zeros and ones and the whole entire gene keys is based on I Ching, which is all zeros and ones. There you go. Bingo. Ah. All right. See, I knew, I knew if, see, between the two of us, we could figure anything out. <laughs> Artists and human design. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, we're designing our, ourselves. Right, and it's the mental body, and it has to do with the essential quality of guidance, which is about compassionate, um, compassionate action. So yes, that's, and it's also about using the mind very much. Human design and artists, um, I can see it in terms of visioning and and using visioning to. Um, and I'll explain these things with right livelihood effort. Those are the the ten. Um, it used to be the eightfold path, but in deeper teachings of Buddhism, they have, it goes all the way up to 10. I'll explain that in a minute, how those relate. Anyway, so and then with the healers, we have, this is, um, can't see it, but it's Reiki, Reiki Sakim. Oh, so it's all about okay. energy work. Awesome. So that worked perfect. Planetary guardians you'll like, and you've even mentioned it without even realizing it's about my inter, it's about internal martial arts. And you, that's what a guardian is. Guardians traditionally in the Buddhist tradition were those who protected the truth. Like myself as a um, bodyguard of Osho in right. India. I was a guardian. Um, and then finally you have illuminators. And I put that into, and you, you can call it whatever you want. I say vegan lifestyle just means the path, the way of peace. 
the path of peace. And it's that's in the physical harm, no other creatures. Right. Right. So we stepped it down from, you know, originators, monadic wow. body, and, and, and it just kept going down, 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 all the way to the physical. And then when you hit mediators, it's, it's not any body because you're beyond the bodies now. It's the logos of the teaching. So it's the whole transmission, whatever we're working on. And um, so the mediators know how to blend and mix everybody, obviously, and how to mediate. And then when you get to the center here, you have the facilitators, the ones who can actually, uh, you know, actualize and align and, and coordinate and do all those things, which um, they can do. And then hidden up here, um, well, then, of course, you have the youth going out and the elders coming in. Um, and the... Um, Oh man, that's so beautiful. Yeah, and and it's also got the connection with because these are these actually have planetary alignments in here, and then but once you get up here to the mediator, plus the youth and the elders, that's where your uh, nodes and the sun and the earth come in. The earth is in the center, the sun is at the top, and then the youth is the north nodes, our future, and the elders are the south nodes, our past, and so all that clicks in. And so it's just fun to do that, and. Um, if I can, now let me see if I can find, I created a diagram too, I just don't know where I stuck it, that I can show you that has all this written out um, in a different form, but I don't remember, doggone it, where I put it. Um, let's see, it should have been in with this stuff. Um, maybe it's in Synergy Life Codes. Because then, then I took everything you correlated, and it's got all that laid out just in like um, uh, you know, like with everybody's name, like you did, which was right. really cool, really cool. And so I have a diagram. I mean, a, not a diagram, but a uh, um, what do you call it? Am I? Oh, I'm in my documents. That's why I'm not finding it. Jesus. Okay, let's get back to where I need to be here. Sorry about that. I was in the wrong place. Why does that take so long to come up? Can you still see, you can still see that, right? Yeah. And if I go to my other stuff, do you see my all that too? I'm not seeing all I'm seeing right now is just your map. Okay, yeah. So um I liked your initial um reaction to that. That's a response, however you want to call it. That was nice. I'm glad that Well you... it's it's just so beautiful. It's it's uh I love layering models and I love connecting to other people's work. And if they're, you know, sometimes there's a bit of a, does it fit? Does it not fit? But what, if it fits, make it fit. I, it, I, I don't know. It's kind of yeah. conceptual hardware kind of, you know. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. Now let me see if I can find this count, this other council of 12 I did um, that, I don't know why, didn't, why the hell didn't I freaking put it in here? I'm just, uh. Sometimes I really, uh, oh, here it is. Jesus. All right, it's a text. Oh, but that doesn't have all my stuff I filled in. That's your original one where I just put the names with the positions. But I didn't get into details. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, um, it takes a while. I don't know why it's taking so long for my thing to uh, do what it needs to do. So please have patience. You know, in, in real life where you know, in movies or, or things where, you know, to me, this is real life. Yeah. Things to, you know, the documented way it's supposed to go because we edited it that way. Mm. Um, to me, real life is actually better. Yeah. So anyway, I think, I think we remember all the, the points. This, this one was, uh, I'll just forget that other diagram because it's just taking too long. So that was me here, originators. This was Steve. Coaches and teachers, um, interestingly enough, you had as um, Mark. Um, and then uh, Tech Gurus, you, you had as Tim. And he's really into cybernetics. He'd probably be perfect for the kind of what we're talking about. Artists was Olga. Healers was Brett Ann. Planetary Guardians, you. Illuminators was Brett. Mediators was Gino and facilitators was Denise, and um, we had elders as Rade, and then youth, we didn't have anything. So um, so that's how 
that's how I saw it. It seemed pretty cool. Um, and so I just put it together to see how that. Uh, well, what's interesting is if you did the gene keys of Tim and Olga, and if they're at the four and the five on the Enneagram, that's the point that needs to get connected. Uh -huh. the, four, the four and the five, fourth and fifth dimension, or whatever it is, the, the, four, the operations and the creativity mm -hmm. needs to connect. And right. You did the gene keys for Tim and Olga, so you connected them. So. You know, it's, you know, it's funny though, in the Enneagram, artists are usually four and tech gurus are usually five, just so you know. Huh. Uh, that's usually how it goes. It's because they're, it's usually the, um, um, what do you call it? Um, God, I can't remember the name of it. But um, like fives are usually observers and that's, um, right. and so they're very mental and fours are usually, uh, um, what do you call it? Roman tragic romantics, right? It's usually emotional, but um, I think for us it doesn't matter. We I think we can do it however we want. Well, I think that also when you blend systems and the, they're con like I've always seen that like on the enneagram, I said one, four, two, eight, five, seven. Like there's a there's that gap between four and five. Mm -hmm. So when you're coming around the enneagram, that's uh -huh. the hard part is to get the four and the five to come together. And mm -hmm. so if you kind of take a five from one system, put it four, take a four from system, take it five. You're kind of like doing a, a, a jibby shoot that maybe is necessary, right? Yeah. Yeah, that could be. That could be that um, caduceus kind of spiral thing that comes in the connection between four and five. That's true. Because it also brings it to earth also through the four mm -hmm. and the five. That's how you land on the planet. Which makes sense, the causal and the mental, at least where the evolution of humanity is at right now. And the other really cool thing is the details, because each of these has eight gates to play with. So not only are you dealing with the um, bodies, the, the vehicles out here, but you're also dealing with the expression of all the other vehicles, including itself, through each vehicle. So the monadic has its expression as itself, as unity. And then it has its expression through the atmic as quintessence and through the buddhic as exquisiteness, through the causal as presence, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the same for all of them. So that's what makes it even more fun. So you have an octave of bodies within each body, which is exactly how it is. That's how reality actually is. Right. So there, there, there'd be a lot of fun in, in um, playing that out once, once we get the um, table set up. But anyway, I just wanted to present that to you. It's not something that I'm, you know, absolutely uh, oh, I love it. adamant love it. about or anything. It's just something I wanted to throw your way. So you because <laughs> I know your, your mind works really well with all this stuff. And I just want to um, present it to you. And there's, there's other things in here too that are really radical. Like um, at the angelic tables level, you have dimensions because that each of the tables is a different dimension and that's what the monadic works with it literally works in hey, dimension what, what was what was that book called you the the hidden work the hidden work by who by e period j period gold gold just like um gold <laughs> okay because I, I i just i was just ordering that the hidden the work, hidden work. by ej gold on amazon is the easiest place to find it if it's not there, I know other places where it, where it was um, published and all that. Okay. So anyway, with the angels, you, and it, this is how it steps down out of dimensions. Then when you get here and you work with Merkaba vehicle, you're working with what's called matrices and entrepreneurs, which is different gatherings of people of different sizes. So it could be a gathering of what's called a wa, which is up to 16 people, or a penta, which is five people. And those are specifically for business applications in, in uh, human design. So it's funny that that corresponded really well there. That's nice. And then here at the diamond work, you're dealing with what's called centers. And that is exactly what they work with a lot, similar to Sufi work where they work with Latifs, uh, which are different centers. So, um, but in this case, I'm talking about human design centers of which there are nine, but you could, you could correlate it however you want. There's more centers than just nine when it comes to the diamond work. Um, and that's about centers. And then you step it into gates. And of course you have the gene keys and there's your gates. And then when you go into human design, they're very into the lines that make up the gates. And then uh, in deep human design, as you go deeper, you go into colors and that's about individual awakening and awareness uh, and that kind of thing. And that's very much connected with how Reiki works. Um, but I'd have to go into more details to explain that. But, and then you go, and so that's about individual uh, healing or awakening or whatever you want to call it. Then when you're in the planetary guardians, you're actually stepping into what are called tones. 
and that's all about collective consciousness. The guardians, the planetary guardians. One, and then finally you get to bases, which is a universal thing. Like it's the five elements, basically the universal five elements, and that's uh, what make up the physical, our internal organs, everything. And um, and then here you actually get back to the principle of three. The, this uh, all these dimensions um, arise out of the, the trinity of the, the three sources, the which are the um, uh, holy affirmation, the holy receptivity, and the holy reconciling. And when you come into it from this end, it's it's more like the three centers, which uh, in human design are basically the personality crystal, the design crystal, and the monopole, which are all. Um, I guess they're all elements of dark matter, actually. But the principle of threefoldness or trinity is is contained in here. So those are just things. That's how you. It, that's where it starts from. All the different things it goes through until it gets down into the most minute. Because the crystals are super tiny, super super microscopic tiny. Okay. See that you put the north and the south node with the elders and the and the youth. Well, the south the node is the el yeah, it's the, that's what I was saying. The the elders is the south node, our past. The youth is the north node, our future. Sure. So that connects too, and the mediator is connected with the sun up here, and the facilitator with the earth. Ah, oh, so freaking amazing! And it makes sense, yeah. And if awesome. You, if you, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. So really fun. I guess we can. I mean, if you if you want me to either leave that up or we or I can put it down and we can. Well, continue talking about this or whatever you want to do i mean this yeah, could like, be our this could be our focus today also because it's a pretty radical fun thing to play with yeah no i love it i love it i love it um yeah why don't we just go back because i got some stuff to share with you too um, okay cool but I, but I just i love it okay cool i love it i want to i was just going to look in one more place to see if i could find this stupid diagram i had that i wanted to show this other diagram that i wanted to show you but I don't know where I put it. So, all right, I'm going to stop sharing my stuff so you can share your stuff if you have stuff. But um, I, I think, you know, between systems designers, when you find the integration point mm -hmm. and fits, and then mm -hmm. you see the connections that work, and then you see the connections you wouldn't have even thought of, that's a beautiful moment, isn't it, when you're just kind of going. How well, did, before we step into what you have to say, I, I'm glad I've got a moment here to share this with you, but how well do you know um, the um, integral, in, integral vision of Ken Wilber? Because I have uh, a much deeper use of that that correlates to everything I just showed you too, by the way, crazy as it may seem. In fact, let me bring it up real quick again, okay. my screen share, because it is relevant um, to what um, we're talking about here. Um, Okay. And, I mean, if he was the third here, that would be lovely because, I mean, I've, I've integrated his work with what I'm doing and, and use it as the four primary interfaces for the inflow matrix. So Yeah, and uh, that, that's the quadrants, okay? Yeah. And quadrants, in my and the way I utilize it, connects in with bases. And it's, okay. it's really fascinating how it works because um, I take the zones, which is the advanced integral, and in the eight zones, you have the four aspects of the incarnation cross and then the four aspects of the nodes because um, you have design and personality. So you have two you have two versions of the nodes on the design, two versions of the node on the uh, personality and the same with the sun and the earth. You have one for each. And, and in those zones, you have and there each one of those eight squares is a gate. And so you think of the gate possibly as a. Um, a sphere and then so with that sphere what you do is you um you break it up into the six directions up down left right and forward backward and then you have your six lines okay and um hang on one sec and then you have your uh, your six lines and those six lines are um what, what in Ken Wilber's work is, um, well, it's the lines. It's, it's the lines in his work. And, but then you have the levels, and then each line is made up of six colors. So along each one of those directions, heading out in front, back, left, right, up, down, you have six steps. And those are the colors, and those, those have to do with the levels. And then at each one of those points, at a color, you have six rings, and those are the tones. And those are, in, in Ken Wilber's work, those are the layers. And then each circle of a tone is a diamond. 
And that diamond is the four quadrants. And so I've actually figured out how to integrate human design and Ken Wilber's work in a really, okay. uh, really, really incredible way. And it actually integrates into sacred geometry into Buckminster Fuller's um, vector equilibrium with it. Okay. With the, and all of that, and it's it's amazing how it works. I'll have to I'll, I'll have to show you that sometime because that's not something I've actually drawn out yet. But um, and then there and then there's these correspondences which I already talked about. You have the bases, tones, colors, lines, gates, and all of that is contained in that. But so I just wanted to share that with you that I've actually worked it out okay. through the kind of stuff you work with too, and also the fact that the types, which is another the fifth element of Ken Wilber's, um, you know, different things he does, because he has types, he has layers, he has levels, he has lines, and he has quadrants. Um, and, and the types are actually this diagram, because there, there's the nine types. And even though okay. he doesn't necessarily break it down that way, he does later on. He doesn't originally, but then he realizes the Enneagram has all the types. So everything in there is in this diagram okay. also. So I, now I'm done. I just wanted to get that out and make you aware of how much I've actually done to make that diagram kind of like an all comprehensive diagram. I feel like I, I should make it an illustrator. Do you want like a, a, a graphic of that? Um, we could. We could do that. I mean, I'm just thinking. To make it I, look a little prettier, yeah. Well, and just then we could bring it into the interfaces and then you could have it as a, I mean, no matter what, like, all my stuff is like, you know, I draw it in hand first and then I digitize it. Then mm -hmm. at some point software. So yeah, anyway, maybe I can do that or we should get mm -hmm. someone to do that. Well, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I could do that. Sure. I'll just send it to you as an email. Okay. At some point. Um, and that, that's what I like is just kind of like send that and send it to somebody who does it. Because <laughs> right? I mean, I always see the work that needs to be done, but I, you know, I, I've got, so much work to do anyway, right? It's, I know, and you're really good at uh, knowing what needs to be done, but I know you're also really busy. I can tell because a lot of times when I want, when I reach out, you you don't get back to me, so I figure you're just really busy. Well, I, I don't take it personally. I'm usually pretty good at getting back to you, no? Yeah. In general? In general, yes. Yes. Because it, it just... you're a high priority for me. I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 I like to think that I'm but I do know that I can disappear into design space at times. and I. <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, I hope, I hope, yeah, for sure. So I got it. Do, do you, I guess I have to give but, you but back. Just so you know, if, if I'm not getting back to you in the time frame you need, sometimes I might need a nudge and just give me an, another little kind of nudge. And then uh -huh. I can, I, and if I'm not then, then there's something specifically like I'm, I'm, I'm zoned out somehow. Right. But I, I can get lost in, so forgive mm. me if I'm rude. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Um, so I got to figure out how to give you sharing back. Okay. So if you go to my name and then right click on, on, oh, you click okay. on more. That's, that's right. Let me get the, let me get the participants up here. I remember. Yes, this I remember. Now I just go back to make host. There you go. You are the host. Okay. So now. Okay, well, I mean, I, um, I love systems integration, and I, I love when 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 you find a match, and I, you know, I, all the work that you've done there is 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 joyful to see and to to, to be able to, you know, I want to dive deeper into what you've done, and I, I haven't like I knew gene keys and human design were important, but I didn't dive into them because I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to go too deep into anyone else's work until I had mine done. Yes. But that, that said, it's, 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 uh, I need to learn more. Okay. So yeah, that's cool. Um, so I'm thinking about Lassiel. Yeah. 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 Right. And thinking about our, our entry point. And I just had a chat with Ramayan, who's a very close ally or something. He basically understands the inflow and he's been building inflow tech systems and he's very, he's, he's the person who started the earth manifesto and he's got these massive networks around the world. So, he, uh -huh. he's, and he actually understands or like, there aren't many people that understand what I'm talking about. Like, you know, it uh -huh. takes time, right. To train people, to even know what you're doing. Right. <clears throat> so he, he's someone who, um, is within his own world using the inflow and using it to do 
<laughs> pretty amazing things plus his own stuff uh -huh. right? and what do you mean specifically when you use the term inflow matrix what are you referring to well like to me there's a certain level like like let's say i go synergy map and all of a sudden you see the synergy map in your mind um it's like the reference point of having the mental operating system of memorizing a number of the maps enough so that if i go synergy map go through there into the ken wilbur four spaces and then go to like you can navigate with me as i go it's just like you you're taking me on a journey through all of these systems because i have knowledge of those systems i can go there with you but if i didn't have knowledge i would have no understanding of what you're talking about right right and so the inflow is a business operating system that once we share it in our minds becomes the reference point for us to organize our businesses by and so mm -hmm. Mayan has actually built businesses with the inflow understands what i'm talking about in terms of building the software system uh -huh. you know rare to find people right who are going to spend the time and, and have the capacity to learn what you're what you're doing mm -hmm. Like I can uh, tell him, okay, Dormenda is a, a you know specialist in gene keys, and we're going to do a shared knowledge community with the Last Seattle Foundation, and I'm bringing in the, the shared knowledge community, and he's bringing in the gene keys. He will understand that. He gets it. Okay. And then he can also he's he's working on an infotech platform that he has spent quite a lot of time and resources to get a uh, a way that you can have multiple people inputting film from multiple phones and then do an auto stitch editing and create a show immediately cool and so so he's pretty high tech then yeah he understands tech he understands how to build tech wow. and he's one of my key team members on the inflow matrix operating software design system oh okay so it's a software oh got it yeah. now i got now i got where so the inflow going. matrix is is like offline maps and online maps and mental maps Okay. And if they work offline, they should work online, but it's mm -hmm. it's a big mapping system that is also an interface system for creating software. Wow, okay. All right, got it. It's essentially what we're doing as origin well, part part partially what we're doing is we're creating this sort of uh, AI for humanity to run businesses based upon ethics, based upon true values. Mm -hmm. And linking okay. it into the gene keys and linking it into all these higher by these systems yeah cool uh, and just before we shift totally um also the enneagram with the all the points around it um also has a way uh and it has just like my chart ha that has layers and layers i can show you also how that works with the um angelic tables at some other time okay yeah I'm those notes those that. notes line right up in a whole nother way be, and that's important for other reasons um, I and eventually I, yeah eventually I want to get into that because that will uh, I mean I discovered things in my life that make stuff so much easier if you get into it instead of so much mental work to try and strategize to figure things out you, you learn how to work the angelic tables and literally by connecting with universal intelligence it creates collective spaces in ways that are just magical and people just come together in ways that will blow your mind, and uh, and so and I've done I've done some of that, and on a, on a just you know as a preliminary sort of test, and seeing it work at the level I did it, and in the in scenarios I did it in, it just tells me that if I doing it there, it could be done anywhere much easier, where there's even much more presence and resources and and skills and all kinds of stuff. Especially in the areas we're starting to go into, but I'll save that for another time because that's a whole other subject, another time. Um, but it'll be fun to start doing that with you and watch how we can open spaces up. And it doesn't matter what we discuss; it won't disturb anything we try to strategize or do too. It'll it'll just work with it. So. Well, maybe next week because I, I do, I do sense that that is a critical piece of the whole puzzle. That yeah, mm -hmm. and, and it I is. am ordering the book and it is i do yeah because then you'll have the chart right in front of yeah. you you can start using and working with and it's incredible stuff just you got to read it through too because 
it takes your understanding of the Enneagram to just, you know, it's just crazy how, uh, what he goes through and by the end of it, how you understand it. It's, it's, uh, cause he, the guy who writes it, EJ Gold, my sense is he was probably a son, an illegitimate son of Gurdjieff or something. Cause he's okay. like 80 something years old. I don't even know if he's still alive, but, uh, that would have put him, you know, birthed back in the thirties, early thirties, like, or something like that. Um, and, and Gurdjieff could have certainly sired that guy because he ended up being the one that got all of Gurdjieff's um, 13 volumes of secret talks. And he's the one that um, originally had them published in, in Gurdjieff unedited, but then he realized he needed to upgrade the language. So he came in and overwrote them with his name on them. And it also any, at the beginning of each book, he says which secret talks he got this information out of. And the one you're about to get is the final secret talks. I think it's either volume 13 or 12, but it's the final one. And it's Gurdjieff's deepest teachings. So that's what you're going to be getting in that hidden work. It's just, it's incredible stuff. You'll see when you get it. You're really, in, you're really, you're really uh, deep and savvy and open to higher dimensions. So you'll just get coded in a way that you'll love, you'll enjoy. Okay. Looking so anyway, now you, I blurbed. I'll bring you to the website. Uh, let me just do a share screen here. Yeah. Okay, so now I, th there isn't really, like what's important here is not the details, it's just the structure of what I've got here. Uh -huh. So I hope you don't mind, <laughs> but I called you the gift synergizer. You can do whatever you want with me at this point. I don't care. <laughs> okay, so I'm, I'm calling myself the architect, gift synergizer, the illuminators were mine, who I just spoke to you about. Train the uh -huh. trainer, her name's Lara. She's the one one of the few people who knows inflow matrix stuff and she has a store in Duncan, she has the card, she's she's fully in. Uh -huh. uh, the tech uh -huh. guru is Noah, who is building the software program right now that is gonna uh -huh. have the programmable chat rooms. Uh -huh. Storyteller is Amir, is, is the brother of Ramayan and they're, they're bro like, they're very close and I'm close with them and uh, Did you say Amir? A, -A M I R? Zamir. Z A oh, Z A, -Z -A M I R. Oh Z Z Zamir, okay. Zamir. And okay. then the master networker is Gino. Uh, so that's that's just the beginning uh, of uh, 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 got looking it. at it's gonna take more than just me and you to, to do this, right? Oh yeah, of course. So then looking at the plan and basically looking at the um should just Wow, so you've already done some work here in creating this uh, website. Yeah, just Weebly, this, this weekend I was just focused just on that. Um, yeah, Weebly's great too because it's all free. And it's simple, very simple. Yeah, it's very simple. I've worked with it in the past. So lifetime cycle plan, year cycle plan, lunar cycle plan, daily cycle plan, seasonal cycle plan, hourly plan, minute to minute, present moment. So that's the time translator. So that's the, the timing mechanism that I have. Yep. And so each one of these would have a, a primary map. Mm -hmm. That's the map I think you've seen, right? That's one of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just starting, and what, what it's doing for me is it's helping me to coordinate all my tools together and sort of actually figure out how to do this. So then the cool. process for individuals, for product teams, for organizational synergy teams, for community harmony teams, for the whole shared knowledge community, for issue coalitions. Wow. Um, the structure, the current, their current structure, the transition structures, and the shared knowledge community. Nice. The people, that would basically be all those people that they have within their structure as it is. Mm -hmm. And then the tools, um, the Info Matrix Operating System, New Paradigm Toolkit, and the Gene Keys, and then whatever else tools we put in there. Mm -hmm. Now, I started putting in my... Um, you got a set of the combo types, right? Yeah, I think that's the one. And then I pulled the stuff you shared out of um, Telegram. The uh, you shared a couple of charts in there. The twelve, you know, the third, the twelve. Yeah, the twelve um, positions of the shared knowledge community, and a couple other things. It had to do with time, past, and future, and present. Yeah. So, so that's that's my collection so far. Okay. So th these. This is the seventy-two. This is the deck that I sent you that can, uh -huh. you can cut out and have. There's six meta conversations, and these are uh, 
business, family, friendship, <clears throat> intimate. So like the, these are the six main things that I've seen all conversations kind of fit into. Uh -huh. And then if you go down, then there's the conversational killers. This is a 24 things that kind of kill the conversation. Right. And then the synergy wheel where mm -hmm. each, each one of these has eight conversations within it. Mm -hmm. And then as you go down. Wait a minute, is that for real? Each one of those circles has eight different conversations in it? Yeah. Each one of these circles. Well, that totally syncs with my chart because every single point on my chart of nine, which is yours, nine with the 10th in the middle has eight gates. Okay. Is that not crazy or what? Well, we're, finding more more we're, we're finding more and more synchronicities as we go. Well, the thing to, to me, I guess, to me, the universal order is structured by math and like there's 72 names of God. So that's 72 would just keep going down throughout the 72 right and and well and yeah and then you can flip that into 144 but that's a whole nother story and that has to do with design and personality yeah which mean which means essence and existence the way the sufis break it down so anyway and this is so this is then each one of these functions research mm -hmm. infrastructure learning ops creating right. energy services interfacing stewardship each of them has eight conversation types which i have listed below here Gotcha. This, wow. And so oh, that's. I can't wait to, and I'm pretty sure I don't have all these broken down. Um, but yeah. that would be fascinating to look at that stuff and see if it plugs into. Wait, just stop on one of them and let what me see. Okay, the, and the, and uh, let me see, do the planetary guardians like you just, or you, or whatever it is. I don't know. I'll, I'll, They're I'll all planetary this, guardians. I'll, I'll Never do this mind. One. Okay. And then I just need to see the eight below um, on it to see what so we're, okay first of all where is let's go back to the main wheel so i can see where in the conversation we're looking through the eight okay so here we're, now we're, which one are you going to go into we're, we're looking at learning learning okay so what i want to see is not each step like you were just doing i want to see the that circle with the eight listed below it in smaller circles so i can see the whole picture there that's what I want to see. You're just there like that. That's how I want to see it. Is this the, the circle you were just doing? Yeah. Okay. Um, and that was, oh crap, I forgot what position that was. That's in. learning 3.3. .3, that's at three. That's at three. So that's the one that the coaches and teachers work yeah. with. Yeah. Okay. So what do we got here? Um, and, and it's funny because that's the, um, the, the hexagram, the house, I guess you could call it, the house of water in my chart, which is the one I was born under water. So it'd be interesting to see. So you got theoretical, reflection, motivational, explanation, instructional. That is so weird because one of the crosses in that is called the cross of explanation. Okay. Um, so that that's interesting. And then instructional, storytelling, feedback, assessment. Wow, that'd be really neat to see how that plays in because this is almost like the business aspect of yeah. all of this stuff. That's beautiful. <laughs> so at some point, you got to get me. <clears throat> I sent you this deck. You did because it looked like you only sent me decks of things that had four of of each thing in it. And so maybe I just didn't understand how to use it yet or well, something. I, 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 I thought I invited you to... Uh, a folder that had all of these cards on groups of six you have mm -hmm. to print them they print on eight and a half by eleven sheets uh -huh. so there's there's 17 backs and one front so you, you print you send it to the printer uh -huh. and you you print 17 sheets of the backs they're all different and they, they have the same front and then you got to cut them out there's six yeah. cards per sheet Oh yeah, you have 17 different things here. Why did I think there was only four in each one? Because there is, there's only, or is it six? six? Oh, it is, <laughs> okay. I just scrolled too quickly. Yeah, you're right. Okie dokie. So, um, cool. Very cool. Um, so right now I'm working on a software program that can program a chat room to be each one of these. Cool. So this this would be like a motivational 
chat. Mm -hmm. And then, so then we can move from conversation to conversation and go through processes. I love it. Yep, exactly. Totally. I love it. That's exactly what you want. That's yeah. perfect. 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 And so um, when you look at here and you go to the, um, the hour uh -huh. and you look at, you know, if this is, if this is us in a zoom call uh -huh. and you look at the time thing here, uh -huh. Those conversation types are like the types of conversations that you have. Uh -huh. So that's how you program a chat room or any Zoom call and go. The facilitator would go, okay, we're starting with a welcoming. Then we're doing a needs analysis. Then we're doing an ideation. Then we're doing somebody's going to tell a story. And then somebody's going to, you know, it's a way of programming the space so you can really have a cool conversational flow. Wow, that is just cool. Neato. So when, um, with these 17 different things you sent, each one has six on it. How does that translate into the, um, your inflow matrix diagram with the nine and the one in the center, and then each one of those made up of eight, how does that translate over? I don't. Okay. I don't well, see. let me go back to that. Um, because the way you sent it with the six, it's like, I'm not sure how to, well, there's, there's six times 17. I mean, there's, there's a two that's 112, right? Yeah. Well, because there, there's six meta conversations, then I think there's 24 convo killers, and then there's 72 conversation types. So right. There's, there's three groups within the 17 sheets that I sent you. Yeah, I would like the stuff you're showing me now with the, the way you broke it down with the wheel and then the eight in each wheel. That would be really cool to see. Okay, it right. Yeah, because that how, that's how I can relate it to what I'm doing and really get into, uh, I could not, you know, because what I showed you, um, with my will earlier now I could go even further and get it down into every single one of those 64 things that I are 72 things that I got going on in my will that would yeah. really be cool I know. Um, let's get this for you here. so you wanted that yeah see it was th this one here with the nine in it um, now, do these each correspond to the um, shared knowledge community positions? Yeah, like if you go the the originators are doing research, the entrepreneurs are building infrastructure, the teachers oh are doing the learning. Boy, you're really intuitive because in my human design, at a really deep level, I'm a researcher. I'm a total researcher. For I mean, sure. I love. I that's that's my like my best skill. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's one of the things I love the most. So that's really neat. I love how you've created this. So you've really done a lot of work too, and you've really paid attention to what's going on, and you put this together in a way that reflects reality. And so I'm in, I'm in love with this. And so like, uh, good, keep going. I got to keep throwing little things in though here and there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know it's it's exciting, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's starting to get there. Yes, it is. It's starting yeah. to get there because I'm starting to see correlations with things that are actually real. It's instead of just somebody's mental, you know, yeah, shit. shit. <laughs> yeah, That's and, I th and I think like if you look at the time cycles, like if you look at research is lifetime, infrastructure is yearly, learning is lunar, operations daily, like the yes, big, the big right. breakthrough is given right. a, a different time cycle to each function. What is research? Is that like research a research is lifetime? See, now that's radical because the way I put that sphere is working with the angelic tables, which is a dimension, and it literally is a whole lifetime. Huh. And, and, and as you go around in the clockwise direction into infrastructure, it's, it slowly stacks down, which I'm guessing this does. It, but the, there's a switch point that creativity is seasonal. Uh -huh. Look at seasonal is five, and it's the, the midpoint between the long term and the short term. Yeah, and, yeah. And it breaks. Mm -hmm. the timing cycle because you're going lifetime year lunar day but then there's this weird thing in the middle seasonal and then our minute present moment and timelessness well see that's interesting because when when in my chart also when you go between the fourth and the fifth point it, there's also a shift and where you go from gates and things that are bigger than gates and what's within a gate and so that has mm -hmm. a whole new set of correlations and that would totally uh so it fits Yep. Nice. That's and then, really cool. so synergies at an hour and mm -hmm. services is minute to minute mm -hmm. interfacing or marketing is at present moment and stewardships at timelessness. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's not exactly the same, but I could see how we could, I could figure out how we could correlate that. 
and and I like actually the way you're doing it. That's pretty cool. Um, Jesus, this is okay. Good. So anyway, you was there? Oh, nice. So um, yeah. Um, is there a way that what you just showed me with that wheel and the way you've got each one of those subjects with the eight little circles below it? Is there any way you can email me that? Um, as that because that is or or you know well, what I can send you the link to the website I was gonna say send put the put it in the message here I'll, co I'll yeah. uh, copy it and 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 save it as a bookmark right now okay. so I can get to it later yeah no like so. I mean I obviously I'm just um, I mean, I'm used to doing a whole bunch of work like this, and then giving it and showing it to somebody who, who doesn't have any idea what to do with what I give them. <laughs> oh yeah, no, I've got all kinds of everything I see. It's like, oh, the more the more that we um, connect, uh, the more the more correlations there seem to be, and then then there's ways that we can work out the mesh in certain areas where it's not exact, but we can refine it and figure out what we really need to do in each place. Okay, cool. Cool. Let me, let me, let me, so you get perfect. So now I'll just save that. There, let me bring it to the top. Love it. Where do I want that? Oh, I want it right. We're almost at an hour. We're almost at an hour. That was the quickest hour of my life. I think. Yeah, me too. But what to do, right? God, I love this stuff. This so, what, 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 you, so you know how to use Weebly, right? Well, I've I made a website before, but I didn't keep it. I did it more just to see how it works. And it was okay, because I'm going to make you an editor in this particular website. I think that mm -hmm. can happen, and then you can come in and start to play within the areas you want to play. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, and but and, and until I get but until I get more um, freed up, it's going to be challenging when I find the time to do that. Yeah. I, I want to. <laughs> it's not that I don't want to. It's just challenging. Well, I think what's going to happen, like, and this is one of the connections with Ramayan, is that as we get closer to this Lassien Foundation being the focus point, if it turns out to be, I mean, there's definitely going to be we, we got to get some funding. And the mm -hmm. first funding is going to go towards, uh, you know, you and the others who are all going to be participating to get you out mm -hmm. of your day jobs. Right. So. That's, yeah, that, that I mean is, that's that, that, that's not a maybe. That's a when. Yeah. Well, that's good. Because um, I can't wait to start, and I think it's been a beautiful. Um, this has been a beautiful meeting today, just to because we were going to strategize how to figure out how to. But like I told you, uh, my experience is that we are just getting, look how much we have to, to meet, just to meet you and I. I mean, it's, it's look how, what it's taking us just to start to show what, what's in us and, and how we can correlate it and stuff. So to me, I just see it as a, a, a holistic, organic thing that's going to unfold um, and I'm not saying we can't, you know, say, let's do this here and let's make that happen there so that this can happen over here. I'm not saying we can't do that, but I'm just seeing that I'm, I'm really interested in, in discovering what, you know, what you're about and what you're doing here. Um, and I think you with me the same. And I think it would be wise for us to get, get a bit of a, bit of a hang of that, you know, um, before we go too quickly into, and I know it's hard for you, you're a manifesting generator and it's like, you're already there yesterday. So me, it's like, it's, it, I'll be there and, uh, you know, and, uh, I, I don't want to say a couple of months, but you know, I want to know everything in detail before I really make any steps. That's a projector. You know, I got to know it. I got to know it inside out, upside down and backwards, or I don't feel confident. And there's too many pieces that I won't catch. And then I'm going to miss something. And usually that ends up bad for me <laughs> if I don't really get every little detail before I go into something. But my feeling is already that I'm with you and we're here and it's working. But now it's just the time it's going to take to open up our spread and both of us to be able to, you know, taste it and observe it, the banquet of ideas that we've got here and to really enjoy it, you know, and um, uh, absorb it and uh, 
So thank you for sharing that. I got that on my bookmarks. I also um, made a uh, copy of the Hotmail of all my bookmarks and put it on my memory stick so I can transfer it to other computers and work with it wherever I need to. So I'm happy about that. Okay. Fractal five. That is so cool. You are so you. You're. It's crazy the kind of synchronicities because when Raw taught about the bases which is the deepest level you get to in human design, right? Because it's where the energy, where the neutrino stream, literally, it has one of five dimensions it can come from, literally enters into the crystal and programs our consciousness. And then that creates a, and then that becomes a holographic image that creates this illusion of us. You know, it's very deep stuff, human design, when you get into the deeper levels, but it's, it's all about fractals, and there are five bases. And here you are saying fractal five. See, you are uncanny in what you, I, I, I love it. My wife's like that too. She doesn't even study anything or do anything, but she, what she says is as if she's as knowledgeable as I am about all this stuff. And mind you, when I'm knowledgeable, it's after I had the experiences of awakening and all the true authentic stuff. The only reason I wanted to become knowledgeable is because I wanted to see if I was nuts or not, and if other people have had these kind of experiences and the languages they use. And then eventually I got totally fascinated by different transmissions, their languages of Zen, of Sufi, of Hasidism, of all the living lineages, and then Dzogchen and the Tibetan and et cetera, et cetera. And so then I really got into that because I wanted to be able to translate all these experiences into different, but I think you and I here are on the verge of taking integral vision and really doing what he had hoped he could have done with it, which he didn't really quite make it all the way out, in my opinion. It's kind of obvious, but I think we can. I think we can step into that because I don't think he had a um, the kind of a, a mystical death and rebirth that you know. I don't think I don't know if he was in touch with the way I can directly enter into and make contact with higher intelligence and literally get a download. I think you and I did that a little bit, and you experienced that in one of our meetings. So you got a bit of a taste of what I do there. Different than what I do in the meetings. That's very rudimentary where we just go through shadow gift Siddha. Although it's not rudimentary because Siddha's uh, <laughs> something most people don't even know what that is. <laughs> you know? But uh, just, okay, so, uh, you know, I keep getting off track because I'm getting excited now and things are starting. See, to me, this is the brainstorm. It's And even though we're not hardlining into how, where, what, the timeline and who we need to talk to and all those things. I've done creative cash, what's called creative cash seminars and, and you lay out timelines and you put in it different things you want to happen at different times. And um, that's how I first learned about brainstorming. That was back in 1978 or nine when I was first uh, getting initiated into Osho stuff before I had even gone to India my first time. Um, but I learned about that, and uh, but I like the way we're doing it here. We're just exposing and opening, and uh, it's starting to, to, yeah, I'm starting to get revved up. I'm starting to, my tank is getting full and the gas, and really getting excited about. Um, and I knew when you presented all that stuff, I said, this guy's got something. I got to, we got to open this up. I don't even want to pretend like I know what it is yet. But, but as you, the more you reveal it, the more it's like, fuck, 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 holy shit, God, Jesus, holy, wait a minute, <laughs> you know? It's like this is this this is wow, this is just corresponding, you know. And you're doing it all just purely, I'm, I'm guessing, because, yeah, the way your design is just coming right from your individual connection with source and your intuition. And for me, it was an incredible amount of research and work and correlating everything I'd been through in my life to actual transmissions. And, you know, the shamanistic lineage of so many different traditions has been laid out and all the maps are there. So I bring it in from that side and you're actually coming from your own inner truth and it's amazing how the two are meeting and correlating and syncing and that's what I love about this stuff because originally that's how it was discovered in the first place from somebody like you who's a you know a survivor kind of guy and, and and just goes in and has to figure it out and comes right out of his own guts and literally pulls it out and says this is what I got here it is and and it correlates so I love it um so I don't know what else we're going to do with the meeting today. We may just, I, it's just been kind of a celebration because we're actually starting to bring out our out our guns now um, and look at what we got. And I think it's it's really neat. And we obviously both did a little bit. I changed my chart a bit and made it so um, you could we could correlate it with your stuff. And now I got more things to put in there now that I've seen your other 
well, I think I already have your inflow matrix, but I don't have that eight of each one of eight breakdown, which totally, absolutely corresponds to the pattern I use of nine, nine and eight. Right. It's totally, completely aligned. Um, I do the same thing. That's what my chart is. It's, it's nine of eight. It's exactly what it is. Although the ninth has a special significance because it's significant of the whole thing at once. And the eight in it are the actual eight around the inner, that, it, you know, the whole wheel is its inner diagram. Yeah. And then it connects to a whole other thing through the youth and the elders. You've got a whole yeah. generation over here that thing's going to transform into and a whole generation over here that we received it from and we're transforming it. Yeah. That's kind of the way I see that. Yeah. And that's, that's through the nodes. So, um, that's really cool. It's really cool. I'm, we're starting to talk now together using uh, each other's terminology. So that that's really neat too. So I'm so glad I, I shared with you the, your gene keys and the way we did it last week, so you could start to get a you know a download and a handle on and a relationship to it because it's uh, um, good. That's just cool. That is so cool. Um, I don't know what else to do today. I, I mean, I don't know that we, I, I kind of don't want to, I mean, I just want to kind of cherish this moment and this opening because now from here on, it's going to be work and we're going to go boom. But so I think this was a really nice opening to just celebrate what we're bringing to the table. I agree. I yeah. Agree. I, uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful to be able to yeah. share your work with somebody who can understand it. Yep. Share your work with somebody who can use it and then connect to what they're doing and then, you know, mold something hopefully greater for everybody, right? That's, that's There's nothing more beautiful than that. Yeah, we're just going to, we're going to open each other up and uh, in terms of our work and we're going to um, be able to give each other, um, I, I'm pretty sure, so many details that will just empower what each of us already have. Yeah. You know, and make it that much more effective, more precise, more, um, you know, spacious, <laughs> more adaptable, more multidimensional, everything, you name it. All the pieces that we play with to qualify things, <laughs> it's all, it's all going to prove itself true, I think. Um, yeah, I'm having a, this is a really, um, <clears throat> let me get this for a moment. I just feel, that's it. It's your 57th Gene Key. Uh, the Siddha of Clare audience and clarity. Yeah, I just feel it coming right through. It's really cool right now. Very cool. That's that's what I feel uh, is, is sinking with both of us right now. Definitely it, yeah, a very high level of clarity around. And it's just so, just, just crystal clear to see who someone is, what something is, how it connects. Yep. What's in the way? What isn't in the way? What you know? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's a whoosh. Um, it's and it's what you're. It's it's um, the field we're we're um, opening up right now. And and also um, and and it connects directly into what I'm what I'm clicking in with is the forty second gate of celebration, which is that the the because you celebrate when you realize all those years and it all comes together in one place and coalesces. And now we're gonna go through, now what's happening is our two things are kind of going through a death in order to blend and become something new and greater. That's gonna be a whole new thing that's gonna rebirth our work together. Yeah. That, Cause that's what's indicative of the 42nd gate. It's, it's, it's the celebration of an ending into a new beginning. Uh -huh. uh, and that's so we got two cities going on in, in here today, the celebration and the uh, clarity. Beautiful, brother. Beautiful. Mm, very much so. <laughs> very much so. Very radical. I just, I, this is such a surprise and such a, a wonderful surprise. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I think, I think because as you, you know, you're, you're a manifesting generator, you're going to get it so much faster than I am. And, the, and my wife always does too. And, and, and I always say, you got to wait for me. And once I get it, it's not going to be like anybody else gets it. Cause I'm going to have so much, I'm going to know every little piece of it. And that's the way I get it. But, but now, now third meeting down the road, you've already been acting the part of, yeah, I get this boom. Now today is my day to go. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm getting it now. Yeah. Boom. Cause now I'm starting to get what all the pieces are and how they click in. 
So, um, so it's my, yeah, you know, I'm kind of like celebrating it today. And, and, and I just, your whole energy is kind of like, are we clear? We're clear. <laughs> yeah, we're fucking well, clear, man. Well, I, I think one thing, like if there's anything that I think would be the greatest gift that you could give somebody is kind of like the, the stage for them to do their work and all the things they need to do it. Mm -hmm. and to leave the, the slave wage and to go into your, you know, your, your destiny to be, you know, a huge manifester of, of everything that, you know, you dream of and, right. And to, you know, to be, to be able to do that with somebody and with mm -hmm. others and then to go around the world and help everyone mm -hmm. who's been struggling so long, they have such a beautiful gift. And then to, mm -hmm. you know, what, what could be better than that, you know? It's, yeah, right. Totally. Totally, totally, totally. Because <clears throat> we need, I, I think, like, the new paradigm, you know, it needs to start with, like, I kept getting this, this the message I was receiving is, it's got to start with no money. It can't start with the big funds. Can't, yeah. The reason to be can't come because we got the money. No, the reason to be is the actual realization of the value of what you have. Yep. And then fine bringing some money but what we have is so much richer you know it's, it's just like spiritual realization I mean, absolutely money cannot buy that yeah no and i agree with you a billion percent because that's that is the only way that it's going to be congruent with what who we are because if we're shooting for the money first then that's not going to be congruent with where we're coming from because where we're coming from is 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 spirit and if we open up spirit by law, that is just the matter will naturally align through the, you know, through the stack from spirit to soul, to mind, to emotion, to, to, to electromagnetic energy field, to physical manifestation. It all lines up like that. It just does mm. that, mm. you know? Um, and when I say spirit, I mean buddhic and buddhic body and above. And then from there, it stacks into every, everything else I just named using different terms. But um, as my chart shows, and as I have a feeling, everything you've laid out is going to lay right in there and show us every single step. That, that uh, That's going to take some meditating on my part, but boy, am I going to have fun with that. We'll probably have to do that together to see how to exist, because I'll have to describe in each in each house of eight gates which stacks from the monadic down to the physical which you know which of those eight little circles of that particular circle we're working on would you say mo and then i'll describe it to you go oh, that one because right, i know right, you'll right. Know, i know you'll know well like i, I probably use the pendulum a lot of times yeah well, that pendulum yeah. worked incredible for our meetings and the people you put into each space i couldn't i was blown away by the only thing i saw is i saw just in my own in, in insight, I saw Rade more as in the place uh, where you put um, Mark, and I saw Mark more in the place where you put Rade, because he's the, he's the elder of the group anyway. He's a little older than, he's a year older than me even. So he's the oldest, uh, uh, Mark. Yeah, I, 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 would, I would say that those two could interswitch easily. Yeah. Um, and... I definitely would have no problem with that, but I think it was also, it was kind of like, it was interesting because it kind of, it gave Mark the seat within our group as a teacher, which I think he is. Oh, he is totally. And then it gave Rade a connection into the elders, which I think he needs. He might have, you know, we're, he's going to present this Thursday, so that may come yeah. out. And yeah, I have I, a feel, I have a feeling that we might all be really uh, impressed by what he's going to bring about. I had a three-hour talk with him afterwards. Did you? Yeah. Oh, wow. I had, a, I had a conversation once with him. I got on the, um, through uh, WhatsApp, I, I called him. And we had a chat for a good hour one time because he fascinated me also. And I just wanted to see what he was about. About probably a month or two, a month and a half ago. When I was first, we were first starting these meetings up with Denise. But, uh, okay, well. Um, so I is that it where we come to the end yeah i think so um i think i feel i feel complete now i'm settled i'm <laughs> i was getting so excited and happy there i just wanted to wait for it to settle a bit and see where i'm at yeah i think that's enough for now i've got a lot of pieces now i got to plug into my puzzle from your puzzle okay 
And um, I said I would send you my new thing, so maybe you can start to see how you can it can correspond into your puzzle too. I don't know yet because there's still details of my puzzle that aren't as. You'll have to question me for, and we'll have to bring it out. I don't have it in the neat little formulas you've already got. I do in the sense of how they are with life codes or gene keys or however you want to call it, but not in the the specific way that you're using them in your nine and eight, um, you know, nine by eight thing. So um, yeah, that may be something we'll just have to open up and um, and do in in some of our future meetings. Because uh, I think, wow, we're really going to step into the Le Ciel. Um, holistic vision space. I think we're going to be, we're just going to be knocking them out of the park because sure. we're going to say, look, we got this, this is how it flow. This is what we got. These are the points. Boom, boom, boom. And let's create it. You know, I think they're just going to be going, Holy crap. So, I think they're going to get pretty excited. <laughs> yeah. That's what I mean. They're going to be blown away by it. And I think also we're bringing the funding with us too. And <laughs> like, yeah, like everyone is going to want this to happen. Right? Yeah. So, and that's when you got buy-in that's when it'll really enter the world in a good way. Like, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I often wondered how to bring this into the world. And I, I sort of, I thought that the people I knew were the shared knowledge community, but they never seemed to have enough interest to participate. But now it's like to build one over there, we can take everyone that I know who had mm -hmm. pieces of the puzzle. And then through the building of one, you create another one. So you're mm -hmm. building two at the same time. Right. And then we were thinking that in the Harmony was we were actually going to be building 20 of them. Because uh -huh. the, the actual, like, the, the up game is like a community one. And then these guys are more like an educational one. And then mm. in the Harmony lens is like there'll be a health one, there'll be a science one, there'll be a political one. Like, every cool. shared knowledge community is going to have a, a kind of like a focus point cool. to give it its distinction. Cool. Well, I think this platform... Um, as it opens up with the Le, uh, Le Ciel, um, will be um, a perfect way for us to bring our um, knowledge into the world first step, you know, on a bigger scale than probably both of us have really at this level of wisdom. You know, I mean, I've, I've worked in big crowds in the past, but not like this with so much precision and, you know, um, detail and stuff. Systematic so that's, processes. Yeah, all of all of, yes, systems, systems, um, elaborations. <laughs> no one us. We're we we are going down the road. <laughs> yeah, it, it, exactly. So I'm very excited. So I guess the next time we'll meet, it, other than um, our uh, messenger chats and stuff, um, and if you ever feel like switch switching to. Um, telegram to communicate it's it is a little more savvy in its user interface and stuff or or you can keep going on messenger uh it, it's up to you okay. i don't care but either one to communicate um i guess uh, i guess i'll just stick with messenger for now unless you switch over and then i'll well i'm kind of, i do use telegram a little i'm not fully over i use i use it for the tablet i just have multiple devices and i sort of do yeah things by, by well okay we'll stick with messenger for now Okay. Uh, unless I have things like diagrams and stuff, then I'll probably just put it into your email or whatever. Yeah. Okay, so I guess our uh, next... Well, I'll we either be with you on Thursday or yeah. then we have another thing with these guys too. We should probably we should probably chat next weekend and come up with basically a game plan for the Tuesday call. Yeah, t t weekends don't work real well for me because uh, okay. that's well, my time with my wife. So yeah, maybe maybe during the day uh, when I'm at work, I always can find an okay. hour here or there. Yeah, yeah, um, that we can do a Zoom or something, whatever. Yeah. If you want, we can like I did today with somebody. Um, that worked out well. I, th um, I think actually most stuff can be done through the through the chat. Um, just to get alignment around. Okay, that if that works too, that works. And if me. you trust, like basically, you know, I the plans coming in. I'm putting it into the website. Mm -hmm. um, I'm making you know your the place for you, mm -hmm. and you have full reign, of course, to do whatever you want. And then mm -hmm. I'm just going to be bringing up all the other pieces together. So you know, mm -hmm. if you trust me in that regard, then. Well, so so far everything looks good. It's just that any time that you want to, uh, prior to any time promoting me, you have to let me see how you're going to do that. 
sure. so that I see that it's in line with how I want to be presented. Sure. That's all. Otherwise, I think on the website, we can just get in there and start designing how we want our information to look at that we can do together however we want. Yeah, because that doesn't involve us as personalities. It's about us as movers of ideas and arrangers of thoughts and different things, right? Yeah, yeah. So that 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 I think uh, I want to start. I'm going to start looking into the, the website and see how how I can get to understand what you're doing. And then I think at some point I'm, we're going to have to have you use Illustrator to blend our stuff together in a way that I think will blow both of our minds once we get it all to get how, what, how these 72 right. from both our sides come together. I think it's going to be fascinating because it'll, what I'll do is bring in the bodies and the genetics and, and then you're going to have codes that can actually do functions for all that stuff. It's going to be mind blowing. I think we're going to be able to do anything we want. To tell you the truth. <clears throat> okay. Um, there's just one thing I wanted to say. Anyway, doesn't matter. Wonderful to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Universe. Thank you, everybody. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I, I'm on that page now, too. All right. Um, take care, Elijah.